Okay, here's how to do your first assignment. We'll go to the program we were working on previously and we'll open a new program. So just click up there in the upper left corner. The second little thing there says new SAS program. So click on that, a new program comes up. And in the code window, start typing. Comments aren't really required for your program to run, but they're highly, highly recommended. So start with a forward slash, an asterisk, end with an asterisk, and a backslash. Type however many lines of comments that you want. Now we're going to do our frequency distribution, proc freak, data equals, sas help, dot heart, semicolon, always end with a semicolon, tables, because this time we're going to specify, we're not going to have every variable. So I'll just pick three. Since I did my proc contents previously, I know the variable names, so I'm going to do age at death, Age at start, and sex, semicolon in the table statement, and then run. I'm going to save. You want to save frequently. SAS Web Editor does not automatically save your program. So I don't want to call it program one. I don't want it to save over my previous one. So I'm going to call it program two. Next, we're going to do charts. Proc chart. Data equals SAS help dot heart. Again, a semicolon. V bar for a vertical bar. And then the names of my variables I want the bar charts of. Again, I'm going to use age at death, age at start, and sex. And again, I'm going to end my statement with a semicolon. You don't really have to have a run after every procedure. SAS runs whenever it runs into a run statement. Kind of redundant. So in this case, I'm actually going to run the whole program at once. So I can leave off the run statement. I could have left off the, the one up above too if I wanted to. Next, I'm going to do mean standard deviations and other descriptive statistics. To get the means, you do proc means. Again, data equals sas help dot heart semicolon. And the variables I want the means for are in my var statement, which is short for variables. So var age at death, age at start, and this time, I'm going to use a different variable, age at CHD diagnosis, spelled like that, D-I-A-G. Don't forget there's two Ds right there together. And run. Everything ends with a semicolon. I'm going to highlight all of this. Click on my little run guy up there. And it's going to run and give me all of my results. The frequencies, the charts, the means, all of them at once. Click on the log tab and I can look down here and see that there are no errors. That makes me happy. And no warnings and just some notes saying this was my, this, these were my results. This is how many pages it was. I can click on my results on that W and it will download it as a Word file. That's what you're going to need to turn in.
You can print your log file or you can download it. You could save it. You could download it as an HTML file, which is what I picked here. Save that and turn it in. And then you're done. If you want, you can also print your code. So you, in my case, you can bring it up like that and copy and paste it into something and turn it in, or you can save it as a PDF file, print a PDF and turn it in. Either way, if you turn in the log, you don't need to turn in the code also because that's pretty redundant. And that's it. You're done.